Welcome. This tutorial will provide you an overview of the Department of Special Collections at the USC Libraries. You will learn which materials you can find in Special Collections, about our collecting areas and subject strengths, and where to find additional information about Special Collections. Special Collections is located on the second floor of the Heaney Memorial Library. Here you will find our reference desk, which is located in room 209, reading room pictured here, a seminar room, a small exhibit space, as well as the Feuchtwanger Memorial Library Room, which is used for class visits and events. For our hours, please consult our website, which we will introduce later in this tutorial. You can also reach out by email at speckl at usc.edu with your research or general questions. Please also follow us on Twitter and or Instagram at USC Speckle, where we post about collection highlights, new acquisitions, events, or behind the scenes work. So you may wonder what kind of materials does Special Collections have? Special Collections has so many rare and unexpected materials. The first thing that comes to mind might be books, and that would be correct. We have over 200,000 rare books, but books are only part of our collections. We also have more than 1,500 unique archival collections. We have manuscripts, which are anything handwritten, old or new. Then there are more than 2 million historical photographs and audiovisual materials like records, tapes, film reels, and black cylinders. We also collect artifacts like this Coke bottle with advertising for the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles. We have lots of artifacts. There are, for example, World War I rations, locks of hair, conductors' batons, and much more. Furthermore, we have many ephemera in our collections. Ephemera are items which were designed for one-time use and that were not produced to last. Examples are posters like this one from the Los Angeles Women's March, receipts, concert tickets, theater bills, paper programs, envelopes, or anything else usually thrown away after use. Ephemera can be very important to historical research because they provide details more commonly included in an official narrative or traditional history. Ephemera can tell you more about individual or private lives, events and experiences lost to history, and help put these things into a historical timeline. Next, we'd like to give you a brief overview of our collecting areas and subject strengths here at USC. While we collect on a wide range of subject areas and special collections, we have also identified very particular collection strengths. These strengths have been developed in support of teaching and research at USC and to ensure the creation of unique, world-class collections at USC that don't compete with collections at other research libraries or archives. We have exceptional collections in the history of Southern California, including USC's history. We have extensive collections in natural history, and we collect artist books. We also have very strong collections on the German-speaking emigres in Southern California, including novelist Leon Feuchtwanger's papers. Our Bachmann Center for Latin American and Iberian Studies and our Casa de Lewis Carroll collection are some of the other collections that are frequently used by researchers and students and that USC is famous for. Please consult our website libraries.usc.edu slash locations slash special dash collections for more information about our hours, about how to access these collections, and to learn more about our collecting areas and subject strengths. Before we let you go, we have prepared a short and hopefully fun quiz for you. So here's question number one. How old is our oldest object in special collections? Take a wild guess. The oldest object in special collections is a fossilized mastodon bone, which was found in the La Brea tar pits and which is part of our Hancock Foundation collection. It is believed to be at least 10,000 years old. We chose this example to remind you that not everything in special collections is made from paper. There are lots of interesting and sometimes odd objects and artifacts. Second and last question. A similar copy of our most expensive printed book was sold on auction in 2012. How much did it go for? And just to clarify, USC did not sell its copy, but the copy sold was very similar to the one we own. Take a wild guess and don't be shy. The book we were talking about was John James Audubon's famous Birds of America. And a copy of the book in four volumes was sold for $7.9 million in 2012. You can also see the size of the book, called a double elephant folio, in the photo. While we usually do not like to talk about the monetary value of our materials, 
as we collect them for their historic importance and not for their value, we wanted to use this as an example to explain why special collections materials have to be consulted in our reading room and why there is a certain amount of security in place to protect these materials. But we also wanted to highlight the privilege you as a USC student have to be able to have access to these fantastic materials. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or need research assistance, do reach out to us by email at specall.usc.edu. For more information on how to search, request access, and analyze primary source materials at USC, please check out our other tutorials.